Yep, there we go. The ghosts have been chased off. We did it! We won! Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. <laughs> Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. Ah, we got a milk bottle. Take one quick gulp to recover five hearts. You'll feel great. But more importantly, this is another empty bottle. <laughs> the bottle will contain two helpings, so when it's empty, you can reuse the bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. <laughs> Yeah, the most awful thing about this uh, might be the fact that Creamia can find out what happened this night. <laughs> can you imagine? You helped the ranch girl and saved the cows. Okay, and because of that, we can actually also do the second quest involved with the Romani Ranch. However, that's not going to be taking place until night of the second day. So in the meantime, we can do a lot of other things. The first one being also a thing that we can do here in Milk Road, in fact. Something we could have done a pretty long time ago, but I actually waited for this, deliberately. Because of some uh, context missing, but since we have done the ranch business, quote unquote ranch business now, I think we have enough information to take on the next quest. Even though it involves a mask that we've had for a pretty long time already. Let's go see what that mysterious thing is I'm talking about right now. Here in Milk Road, you can also find uh, grass like this in Clock Town. But here we find an example of a circle of grass patches with one in the middle. You can find one here and one in North Clock Town. For these we actually need the so far untouched and mysterious Keaton Mask. <laughs> Remember we got this from uh, the man from the curiosity shop at the moment Kaveh left his little hideout. With this we can actually find Keaton's mythical fox-like creatures. And they live in uh, grass patches like these. Let's wait for the second day to get started. Because that cutscene is going to get annoying otherwise. <laughs> Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Okay, and now let's go see why we didn't do this earlier. <laughs> Just pick up the middle patch of grass, wait for the rest to disappear, and we will find out why the grass was moving all this time. <laughs> the mysterious Keaton has been living here. Hee hee ho! Hello, child! If you're attempting to fool me, it is impossible. We Keatons can recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. But you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. How many mailboxes are there in Clocktown? Ah, you're going to ask me some questions, I see. Okay, this first one we could have known a lot sooner. Five mailboxes. And that's pretty much how this works. Second question. What is the name of the festival that is to be held in Clocktown? Carnival of the Moon. <laughs> that would explain why there's a moon falling at this point. <laughs> but no, it's Carnival of Time. Also something we've uh, known for a pretty long while. What is the name of Anju's father? Okay. You know what's funny? I was waiting until I did the ghost quest in Romani's Ranch. Because at that point, all of the potential questions are actually um, covered by that point. Well, this is actually one I uh, forgot to point out. <laughs> it's tortoise, by the way. I'll take a look at that uh, when we uh, get back to the stockpot in. I'll make up for this question that I've missed. <laughs> Go me. Okay, next one. How old is Tingle, the map salesman? 35. Also something we've known for a pretty long time. How many balloons does Romani, the girl at the ranch, use during practice? She only shoots at one. Yo! Good, very good. Take this prize. And this is for a piece of heart. 
Yeah, and that final Romani question kind of proves why I waited uh, so long for this, even though you can do this immediately after finding the Keaton mask, to be honest. But I thought this is more appropriate to do it at a point like this. But still, there was uh, that Anju's father question. <laughs> Some information that I actually missed. That is a quest we're going to do a lot later, so... Kind of forgot about that question being there. But okay, now that we finally have some time, let's return to Zora Cape. We were here earlier. Let's continue where we left off after my appointments during the night distracted me. Here we find the home of the Zoras, the Zora Hall. And let's go see what they have hiding around for me here. Because of course, there's quests hiding here. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is non-quest related, the Zora shop. Let's see what you all sell. Oh, there is red potion here. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. There's also a shield here, which is not that surprising because of all the like-likes in this area. <laughs> but okay, that's what they sell here. Okay, let's go explore some more. Oh, there's a giant stage here. It would explain why there's a band from this area. <laughs> In order to access all these rooms over here, you actually need to be Zora. So, Hey, Mikau. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. Your band leader, Evan, is looking for you. Okay, good to know. He's not in here, though. <laughs> but still, let's go see what is in here. The drummer of the band, apparently. Mikau, where have you been? Where have you been? I was worried. The concert in town is coming up, but it seems like all the band members are in a funk. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Especially Lulu. I haven't heard her voice in a long time. She's usually in good spirits, too. Oh, oh. I wonder if this is related to the ocean turning all weird. Actually, I know a little bit of Lulu's secret. Do you want to hear it? Ooh, secrets. <laughs> There's a rumor that the ocean is getting weird because there's trouble offshore at Great Bay Temple. And they say when that happens, something bad will befall the Zora descendant who has been protecting the temple. Do you catch my drift? And lately, Lulu has been looking kind of weird. Maybe Lulu's the... Yeah, that would explain a lot. <laughs> Apparently, there is a protector of the Great Bay Temple, and if she's indeed the de descendant of that first protector, that would explain why she's acting so weird. Let's go see what is up here, because obviously there's more to explore in this room. A diary. More secrets. <laughs> but it's written in Zora language, so we have to be a Zora in order to read this. Let's go see. Mikau, my diary. Today, Jeppes and I had a jam session. He is a little rough around the edges, but he writes great riffs. And here's what I played. Okay, some notes. Remember those. Today I had Lulu listen to my session with Jeppas. She seemed to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl after all. Today I had another jam session with Jeppas. Evan was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. And here's what I played. Okay, four more notes. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. It should always be green. <laughs> okay. This event gets recorded in your notebook, so in case you can't remember the notes, they actually get recorded here. <laughs> so you can always find them in your notebook. But okay, it was talking about a jam session with Jeppes, the bass guitar player from the band. Let's go see if we can find him. He should be in here. Mikau, do you need to see Jeppes? You're gonna have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait! <laughs> I think somebody's going to try to listen through the door in a minute. <laughs> okay, here's the bass guitar player, Jeppes. And this is why he's so awesome. He's playing the dungeon theme from the very first Legend, Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> Oh, 
Awesome. Okay, let's go talk to him. Miko, where have you been? I'm all like, hey, where's Miko? The concert's coming up soon. And now our band leader has pulled a vanishing act. Evan's all holed up in his room, just writing songs. And to top it off, Lulu just stands out the back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. If you guys think it's just cause Lulu isn't interested in me, I'd understand. But I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is this something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything. But look, if we don't start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to be ready for the concert. Oh, you want to rehearse? Well, I have something to rehearse. <laughs> huh? You want to have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar. Here we go. Well, we were reading Nikau's diary just a minute ago. <laughs> so now we need to play this. Whoa, that's nice. Okay, the second part. Which is um, R, Y, X, R? Yeah. We got it, we got it, we got it. Here we go. Yeah, let's go see how rock stars play. <laughs> I love how these instruments are directly pulled from the sea. <laughs> Mika's skeleton guitar and Japa's holding that crab thing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you guys are pretty predictable. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> That's gotta be awesome, living in the same hall as a rock band. <laughs> that has a good feel to it. Even Evan should like this. But... He's so proud. He'd resent the fact that we're writing something on our own. I don't think he even let the others try it out. Yeah, that might be a problem. It was an amazing song we just uh, wrote. However, the band leader is not going to accept it. What do you think we should do? Well, I have a solution for that. Allow me to show you off how to finish this quest, because this is quite a puzzle in all honesty. <laughs> But there's definitely a solution to this puzzle. Let's go to Evan's room next, the band leader. Ah, Mika, what have you been doing this whole time? Evan, the band leader, has been waiting for you for a while now. Hurry, go in, go in. And stay away from the door, you. <laughs> I don't want more ears checking out what we're doing. Okay, what do you want to say to me, sir? Miko, how was it? Did you get the axe back? Uh, no, I only got one and I didn't give it back to you. <laughs> oh, let me guess, you couldn't do it. Have you been to see Lulu out back by the ocean? Ever since the pirate stole her axe, she's been standing out there just gazing at the sea and sighing. Miko, we need those axe safe so Lulu can get her voice back. We've grown accustomed to life in a peaceful sea. The only one amongst the Zora tribe who are still able to go blows with those wild pirates is you. The one with the blood of the Zoran heroes flowing within you. I'm still keeping Lulu's problem a secret from the other band members. They've all been looking forward to the Carnival of Time concert. And I can't tell them it's cancelled because Lulu can't sing, can I? <laughs> Yeah, but in that case we need to find a solution quickly. However, that's not the only problem you have. You also need a song to play, don't you? Were you guys secretly writing a song behind my back again? Isn't songwriting the job of the band leader? What? You're not happy with my songs? Yeah, kinda like Jeppe said, this was expected. He doesn't like it if we start writing songs of our own. So this new great song we just wrote, he's not going to accept it from Miko. <laughs> he will accept it from an outsider. So let's play the song as Link.
Huh? That song? Um, it works! It works! It works! Yeah, now he's getting inspired. <laughs> After our amazing intro, he managed to finish the song. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. Yeah, it was all you. <laughs> okay. You've got a pretty good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our next show. Take this in thanks. And this is also a quest for a piece of heart. And in our case also a new heart container. A Zora Swan song. You gave your song to Evan. As Link. <laughs> you don't think I'm stealing your song, do you? Uh, well, uh, let's just say you'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Uh, excuse me for passing th right through you. <laughs> but okay, uh, this quest is fun and everything. But we'll see, there is another door here. And this one is a little bit more different. Shut up, I'm busy right now. Ah, uh, Miko, you caught me. E uh, I, uh, uh, Lulu has been looking kind of weird lately. Uh, I was w worried. It's not like I was uh, spying on her or anything. I'm not a kind of weirdo or sort of slimy fish or anything. Uh, yeah. I j just remember to have somewhere to be. Uh, what time is it? Um, yeah, I have to be there, like now. Uh, uh, see ya. <laughs> Why is everybody in the ocean area such perverts? <laughs> He's like the third one already we've met. <laughs> Spying on that poor little girl. And what's even worse, she's, she isn't even here. <laughs> but there is something else here. So let's go see what we have. Another diary we can read. For instance, Lulu's diary in this case. It has been two days since I've lost my voice. I don't want Mikao to know. So I can find it in Evan about it. He recommended that I take the eggs to the marine research lab, just off the Great Bay Coast, to have them checked. I will think I'll take them right away. Such a terrible thing has happened to me today, that I don't even know where to begin writing. I heard a sound late at night, and when I opened my eyes, I saw strangers in my room. I tried to fight, but they were able to steal my precious eggs. It seems I lost consciousness after that. Today I told everything to Mikau. The one person whom I didn't want to know about it. At first I was too embarrassed and too sad to do anything. But with the words that Mikau said at that moment, I felt that my heart was saved. Please Mikau, I'm begging you, don't do anything rash. Well, um, since we're Mikau now, I think Mikau did something rash. <laughs> There's also a business scrub here. Remember these guys? And that makes three business scrubs we've seen in the regions. The one in the swamp, the one in the mountains, and this one is apparently over here. Something we need to remember whenever we start working on the business scrub scramble event. Which is actually clearable by this point, because the one in the canyon is actually also already accessible. And this guy actually sells green potions to Zoras, and nothing more. So nothing important when it comes to what he sells. But we do need to remember he's here. Because there's another event where he is relevant. Well, that one we'll uh, get started on later. Let's go see what we can do on the stage. What do you want, Mikau? Are you checking the stage? I don't know why, but there's something wrong with the lighting. Okay, this actually talks about... Um, yeah, there's a couple of torches up there. You can light them to um, do this event. However, I think because of a certain... Uh, Event taking place in the afternoon of the second day. I first like to finish off the main quest business. So I'll uh, continue collecting the eggs for now. And all of the other side quests. There's also one up there, by the way. And of course, the other quests in Zora Cape. I think we'll do th those later. I um, feel like finishing off the main quest for now. So 
Let's return to the pirate fortress and collecting more eggs. That's actually something I like to get done right now. Opening up the next dungeon for the next cycle is the most important thing for me right now. So let's go start working on that first.